Welcome back to Crypto AI Profit. Today I wanted to go over this article on Cointelegraph about Aletheia launching a decentralized network for deep fakes and synthetic content. Essentially, they're decentralizing face and voice data. And it says that Aletheia is launching a decentralized synthetic content network to track the usage and intellectual property of AI-generated content. The company plans to offer a wide selection of content, including but not limited to face swap deep fake videos. And as we move forward with AI, controlling your image and likeness, especially as a public figure, is going to become more and more of an issue. And that is exactly what Aletheia is addressing. It says that Aletheia is a production studio for AI-generated content. With a synthetic content network, Aletheia is attempting to introduce a mechanism for clearly disclosing AI-generated content and only allowing it with the consent of the person being shown. The platform uses blockchain technology to maintain records of ownership and permission for usage, in addition to ensuring that the creators own the rights to the AI software they use. It will be powered by Aletheia's native token, which aims to introduce incentives for the various interactions between the ecosystem's players. In addition to face swapping deepfakes, Aletheia wants to empower its users to create other types of content. For example, fans of a certain celebrity would be able to use Aletheia to create videos of that celebrity doing things like dancing, or reading a book, or making a speech, etc. And all videos created with Aletheia will be labeled as satirical and will include watermarks to clearly distinguish them from true content. The project's stated goal is to democratize access to AI, allowing creative expression through the technology in a manner that would not violate the rights of the people involved. So this is a big deal. And if we look a little bit further, we can find on YouTube that Arif Khan is the CEO and co-founder of Aletheia.ai. And I encourage you to check out this video where he talks about how we can use this technology for good. And here is a video of Trump and other world leaders that were deep faked as apologizing for inaction on climate change. And there is an interview here with Arif Khan. And just for the record, Arif Khan was also the CMO of Singularity Net. So it's really exciting to see that he is working on these problems. And if we check out the Aletheia.ai website, here we see a video of CZ from Binance. Let's check this out. And here it's been deep faked where he's Bruce Lee. So definitely check out this video. Again, check out this video also of Trump and all these other world leaders talking about their inaction on climate change. Pretty funny, but very compelling. And if we check out the website here a little bit further, it says that they're looking for volunteers who would like to be featured in their favorite media. So you can get involved that way. Aletheia AI will let you support the projects that you feel passionate about and create new projects of your own. So it lets you unlock the creative potential of AI. And it says here that this Peloton girl's face was instantly recognizable in the gin advertisement. Synthetic media will unlock a new asset class. Our faces and voices will be rented, modified, and repurposed. Wow, that is really compelling. And here it says, discover a trusted synthetic media network. Lithia AI is building the digital rights management tools and infrastructure that will ensure that you own the rights to your digital identity and likeness. All synthetic media that you will create or consume within our network will be permissioned and trustworthy. Our native utility token opens up new creative possibilities for our community members to collaborate and bring life to new projects, crowdfund the creation of new brands and models, participate in the evolution of their favorite media, interact with synthetic personalities, and much more. Really tons of possibilities here. Aletheia AI is planning to partner with artists and organizations that seek to advance the awareness about deepfakes via illustrating the technology's capabilities in a safe and nine manner and it says that they're also going to release a mobile app fake or not that will gamify the detection of deep fakes and in the process inoculate its users and you can check out more here with the links to the Twitter and the reddit but like and subscribe thanks for watching bye